the devil fought so hard to keep you from hearing this message, but I'm glad it finally got to you. God has experience in that situation that you're dealing with. It may be new to you, but it's not new to God. I need you to do me a favor and do yourself a favor and trust him. Put all your weight on him. Put it all on God. God's not biting his fingernails and nervous about your situation. No, he already has a plan for you. He knows how he's going to work it out. You see that bench right there? Let me ask you a question. Keep it real with me. If you was at this park right now and you went over there and you got ready to sit down, would you examine the screws underneath there before you sat down? No, you will go and sit down and you will put all your weight on it, right? So that tells me right now, it is possible for us to have more faith in that little bench than we have in God. Watch this. God created us. He gave us our own fingerprint. Did that, did that chair give you your own fingerprint? No. So why are we trusting it more than God? Come on, man. God has experience in what it is that you're dealing with. But too often times, we end up stressing ourselves out because we holding on to a situation too tight when God is telling you to loosen your grip. Ooh, boy, when you loosen, and I'm talking to me, DeMarcus, when you loosen your grip on that situation, that's where freedom happens. Because you stop worrying about it, you stop overthinking it, overanalyzing it, paralysis by analysis. No, we're going to put it in God's hands and we're going to let him do what he does. So whatever it is that you're dealing with, I need you to loosen your grip. You holding on to it too tight. Do me a favor. Control what you can and you leave the rest up to God. What can you control? Your exercise. Keep it real. You've been working out. All right, cool, cool. Well, we're going to work on that then. Control your exercise, control your eating, control your diet. Eat more whole foods instead of the fast foods. What else can you control? Your sleep. You be getting your sleep at night? Or you be you or you be up playing on your phone? <laughs> hey, come on, man. You got you, you need you need to make sure you're getting your proper amount of sleep because tomorrow always depend on the amount of sleep you got the day before. You got me? What about screen time? We spending too much time on our phones? Come on, we got, like, let's control the natural stuff. Let's, let's not pretend like the natural stuff don't matter. Let's not pretend like the amount of sleep you got last, uh, last night doesn't affect you today. How much water you drinking? You fully hydrated? All right, cool. Let's talk about your prayer life. Have you talked to God today? Have you, have you read your word today? See, these natural things, that's, that's the stuff that you need to focus on the other stuff you leave all that up to god let god give him his office space to do his office work too often we neglect the things we can control and we spend all of our all our time worrying worrying about this stuff we can't control anyway you got to loosen your grip man i'm not sure who this is for but look you got to loosen your grip man let the chips fall where they may because if it's God's will, it's God's bill. Where God guides, he provides. There's safety when we trust God. There's safety and security in God. That situation you in right now, it is, I'm telling you, it's nothing new to God. God been doing this way before you were born. He's undefeated. Check his track record. Remember how he got you through the last thing? What about the time before that? Remember the other thing he got you through? He got you through that. What about the other thing? Remember he got you through? Check his track record. He's undefeated. This situation is no different. He going to get you through this right here too. All right? Loosen your grip, man. Loosen your shoulders up a little bit. You all up tight and stuff. Loosen up, man. <laughs> Loosen up a little bit. Learn to laugh a little bit, man. Get your smile back. God gonna take care of you, man. You his child. All right? You gonna be all right, man. I love you so much. If you made it to the end of this video, I need you to hit the like button. Then I need you to comment the words, 
I trust God 100% because that's right. Not 92%, not 94. No, we're not doing the 94 anymore. We going all in 100%. We trust in him all the way. We trust more in God's ability to succeed rather than our own inability to fail because we have the victory through him because victory is not something we achieve like a goal. No, victory is something we receive as a gift because of he in whom we believe to be our savior. The battle is already won. So since Jesus is victorious and we are in him, we have the victory as well because we on the winning team. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video.